All right, in this video, we're going to be taking the next big steps on the mobile app uh, and starting to customize some of the native functionality. So what we have right now on the mobile app is we can load the content, we can uh, see kind of the main blog listing, we can go into the, uh, we can go into those uh, posts, back out, we can also go to the admin section and we can uh, do all the main sure functionality for the admin section. Um, where we want to take this for the next step is to split these two parts out. So we want to have a tab on the bottom for the home page and a tab for the uh, kind of the admin functionality. All right, so to do that, we are going to re be adding a layer of controllers on top of the coordinators on top of what we already have. So right now we have the app coordinator. This um, this we're going to want to rename to be a tab coordinator. Uh, so this is going to be managing an individual tab. Um, and with that, now we want to create a new app coordinator. That will function as the kind of foundation for the, uh, for the application. Uh, so we're going to do class app coordinator. And this is still is going to have to be an NS object so that works properly uh, for doing delegate methods and whatnot. Um, so in here, we're going to have a new um, root view controller. And this is going to be a tab bar controller. Uh, we're going to stay, have the same uh, API to work with things. So we're going to have our func start. And for right now, this is just gonna not do anything. All right, if we hop over to the scene delegate, we now want to uh, still use an app controller, uh, or app coordinator rather, and this can be changed to the root view controller. So if we run things, it should load up, and so things are compiling, they're wired in properly, and that's good. So let's hop over to the start function, and here we're gonna go tab one, equals a tab coordinator and we go tab one dot start and we're going to get let tab two equal tab coordinator and tab two dot start so we kick off those two tabs now we're going to need to uh, hold on to these references so we're going to want to make sure uh, we're going to want to have um, a bar uh, tab coordinators and uh, for this this is going to be an array of tab coordinators and it's going to start off just being empty um, but when we actually kick off and start the application our tab coordinators is going to equal tab one and tab two so now we have those tabs set up um, Actually, we're gonna make another small change over here, just to kind of keep things uh, feeling the same. We're gonna rename this navigation coordinator uh, to root view controller. All right, so now we can go in here, we can say for our root view controller uh, dot view controllers, we're gonna make that be our tab coordinators. And we're gonna map these uh, so we're going to go and inside of them, we're going to grab their root view controller. Um, so we're going to be, so this is going to give us a new array. That's the tab one dot root view controller, tab two dot root view controller. All right, let's see if this works. All right, so we are getting the two tabs of details. Now these are both loading the home page, which is not what we want. So let's start customizing things. So the tab controller coordinator, we're gonna actually pass in the URL that it should start off with. So this is going to, uh, by default, we'll grab that homepage URL. And for the second one, we're gonna do the homepage URL slash posts. Um, now this is gonna yell at us because obviously that doesn't work right now. So we're gonna init URL to be a URL and 
self.url equals url and let's make the variable for that so let url be a url so much url is so little time all right so when we start things we're not going to be using that anymore we're going to use the past in url all right and let's fix this typo so let's see if we now load properly so we get the home page on the first tab and we get the admin page on the second page perfect so that's working right now we get our if we look we're getting the turbo rails uh, for the tab we're getting turbo rails on the navigation uh, which isn't what we actually want we actually want to be able to pass in what the title of that tab is going to be so we're going to pass that in here and we're going to say title is home and for the second one we'll go title is uh, admin um, and we're going to have to fix this so it doesn't yell at us anymore uh, let's grab that string and let title string and self dot string I'm uh, sorry self dot title equals title all right so that sets everything up but what we actually want to then also do is uh, in the start we're going to do the um, tab bar item oh, sorry the root view controller dot tab bar item dot title equals title all right so I don't know if you notice but when you, when you run this the tab comes up as home and admin then quickly changes to turbo rails this is happening because by default the um, the web view sets the title of the view that it's contained in to be the page title and then the page type that get it basically bubbles up the whole stack and goes all the way to here so we actually want to change how that works so this is actually happening so if we open up a turbo go into the visible view controller this is happening on the visible did render so in here we can see the title equals the visible view web view title um, so that bubbles that title then bubbles all the way through things so we actually want to customize that functionality so we are going to want to go in here and make a new uh, file this is going to be a uh, uh, custom visible view controller um, class it's custom visible view controller which extends view controller and we want to do uh, what was the that is the visible did render visible did render um, and we actually have to uh, turbo we have to import turbo and visible did renders or overriding and here we want to do the uh, navigation item dot title equals visible uh, what is it visible view that web view all right visit visitable view dot web view dot title all right so if we now go into the tab coordinator instead of making a visible view controller we're going to make this the custom visible view controller and let's see if I've wired everything right so now we get perfect so home and admin stay as home and admin and uh, we're still going to be able to take this title, but we'll get there in a few minutes. So next thing you want to do is set the tab icons. So in our app coordinator, we've got the title, and here we're going to do icon, and we're going to use SF symbols. So in here, if we do uh, home, um, we can just do as house as our symbol that we're going to be working with. So the icon will be house. And for the second tab, the icon 
we go in here and do settings, gear shape. So we'll use that. All right, and again, it's gonna start yelling at me. So we can do an icon string. Let icon is a string, and so the root view controller dot tab bar item dot image is equal to a UI image system name of icon. And it will help if we save it to the property. All right, perfect. Admin home. All right. Um, okay, so we're now setting the icons. The next thing we need to do is um, set the navigation title per page. So we're going to need to do this on the uh, rail side. So if we come into the application, we are setting turbo rails. If we refresh this, or if we update this and reload the page, we can see that it's coming up here. So this is actually where it's setting that navigation title. So what we want to do is be able to, in uh, our pages, be set able to set that as a custom browser title. Um, so in here we can go uh, content for, and this is going to check to see if the browser title is set. Uh, if it is, we're going to want to spit that out. And if it's not, then we're going to go to the default of Turbo Rails. So this should still give us Turbo Rails. Uh, there we go. And it, now we can go into, for example, Posts Index. And here we can go content for browser title is uh, posts. And if we load that again, we now have posts instead of Turbo Rails. And if we go and reload the um, website, we can see the posts in our browser as well. All right, uh, we can basically get this and now basically uh, we can apply that throughout. So on the new posts, we can go new post on show, we can do, uh, so here we can do something like at post dot title, um, then yep. And for something like the edit page, we can do, um, edit post. So now if we go show, we're getting my second post. If we go to edit, we're getting edit post. If we go new, we're getting new post. All right. So uh, we also need to change the home page. So let's update that as well. So here we can get rid of that hello world. Uh, no, we'll leave that for now. Um, so we can say home. Um, or uh, you can say something like our blog, uh, whatever is appropriate here. All right, now we still have this link to the admin, which we really don't want. Uh, so for that, we're gonna need to customize a few things. So um, for this, we can create a helper that we'll be able to use in the views. So if I come in here and create a new helper, I expect we're gonna have more turbo stuff that'll come up. So I'm gonna make a Turbo helper dot rb, and here we'll have module turbo helper, and we'll go. Uh, we're gonna make a, a turbo native 
Um, and for right now, just to show what's going on, let's do um, request dot user agent. So if we come to the application controller, I'm sorry, um, the application layout, we can just spit this out for now. So we're going to do turbo native and see what that says. So if we reload, this is saying, this is a little 5 so this is our huge uh, user agent. If I go over here, we can see what it looks like on uh, the desktop. So let's customize that. So if I go into the, uh, on the uh, native side, when we create our session, we can do our session dot web view dot custom user agent and we need to call this whatever we want. So um, my app um, turbo native uh, 1.0. So there's nothing magic about this, but it does fall on it does kind of follow a similar pattern that you would see with uh, some of the other user agents. Um, but this could really be anything you want. Um, so I'll run this again, and we can now see my app Turbo Native 1.0, and if I refresh over here, it's still the uh, same old one. Okay, so if I come back into here and I look at the uh, Turbo Native helper, so in here, um, We'll do a 2s on this because sometimes it could uh, be blank or whatnot. Uh, we want to make this check if this matches, and we're looking for anything that says Turbo Native. Um, so uh, if I come back to the website and reload, now it's saying false. And if I reload down here, it's saying true. So now we can we can run some functionality that checks whether uh, we're on the no don't. Uh, the native app, or uh, just a web browser, or even uh, or even the, even if you're using Safari on the phone, it would still come up as a uh, non Turbo Native version. Okay, so with that in place, I can now go to the uh, the application layout. And here, instead of rendering the navigation, I can do render the navigation unless it's turbo native. So if I now reload the page, we still get the admin up. Oh, let's, um, let's actually go into that navigation and just for the. Let's push that. So yeah, we have that admin post there. If I come back over here to the native app, that navigation is now gone. So there we go. We now have, we're now hiding the navigation on native. We're keeping the navigation in the browser. So we're, so now we're in a good place to stop here. So what we've done is we've added tab navigation for the two sections that we have our admin section and the public section. Uh, we're able to go into the admin section and do all the major functionality in here. We're hiding some of the uh, user interface elements that are necessary uh, in the native app, and we can toggle that. Uh, we can do that uh, to change more things as we move forward. Um, and we uh, were, yeah, we're basically in a good place to take our next steps. So the next stuff that we will be looking at is adding authentication so that this admin tab um, on both sides are gonna require you to be signed in, uh, but the home tab uh, will be publicly accessible. And we'll make sure that persists through uh, application restarts. Um, and yeah, that'll be the next step.